Hey guys, so I am still like shaking and in, in shock of the Pretty Pretty Little Liars summer finale that happened last night. First of all, um, before I start this video, if you guys have not seen the episode, there's going to be a ton of spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen it yet, turn it off, go watch the episode on the ABC Family website, and then come back and you can watch this video because I am uh, just no words. The episode starts off yesterday and they've been announcing on their Facebook page and their Instagram and everything that they are going to be revealing the most they've ever revealed in this um, summer finale. You're going to find out things that you've never even thought about finding out before and it was insane. Um, oh my god, I just like, I can't even, I don't even know where to begin. So first it starts off, um, the girls get like a little magic box um that comes to their house it has all these four little ball like um i can't know what those little balls are called they kind of look like like the balls you play pool with um they get they each get their own ball and hannah's says basically like um if hannah's mom gets released then cc drake is going to come after them because the reporters have discovered that hannah's mom didn't kill detective wilden the guy from the previous episode came out and revealed that he saw mrs Marin leave so he goes in and tells the police that and then she gets released and it's so exciting because i don't know about you guys but my heart was like literally breaking for hannah's mom it was so sad like it was just freaking horrible that she had to be put through that so hannah's mom gets released and cc drake is like going after them so um they end up getting a few other packages in the mail one of them is like a it looks like a little baby coffin and it has a mona doll in it which i still don't really understand that concept but basically i guess it was kind of leading them to believe that a was going to kill mona in if they didn't get to her, if like they didn't find out who A was soon enough, I, I guess that's what that meant. I don't really know. So anyways, they find all these clues and they end up um, going back to Ravenswood, which I don't really understand Ravenswood. I, I don't know why every time they go there, the lighting suddenly changes. It's all dark and everything's just really weird there. So anyways, they end up going to Ravenswood for a magic show that they think A is going to be at and that he's going to be looking for them. So they go to this magic show and while they're there, Arya is getting a magic trick done on her by the little uh, magician. And when they when Arya gets done, they turn around and Emily's gone. So they're all running to go find Emily and Emily is nowhere to be found. So then they see Redcoat um, running a certain way. They go and follow her and they see Emily in this box. Um, because Emily had called them and said, I'm in like a box, a I don't know what's going on, I don't know where I'm at. So they, I guess Emily kind of helps them figure out where she's at. They see her in this box that's on this like track thing, and it's um, an automated like track that's going onto this um, like automated saw, and it's trying to saw through the box, like trying to kill Emily. Emily was freaking out, I was freaking out. I know if I was in that box, I'd be freaking scared. So, um... Emily is literally about to get like sawn in half by this um, automated saw thing and then you see the automated train saw thing just stop and you see um, someone in a red coat push the stop button on it to kind of like end it and then as you see a red coat pushing the stop button you see another red coat at the bottom um, of the stairs where the other one's at and she's in a red coat so there's two red coats and Aria Finally, I mean, it's been four seasons now. She finally goes and runs after one of the red coats. I was like, yes, you better freaking take off that mask. Like, I want to know. I mean, I, we all kind of already knew it was one of them is Cece. Um, but Arya runs after one and then um, Hannah stays with Emily to kind of like calm her down. And then Spencer runs after the other red coat. Well, whenever Spencer's running after one of the red coats, um, the red coat is kind of like not running away from her, but running to kind of lead her to a certain point you kind of see that like red coat would make sure that spencer was caught up with her enough to know where she was going so she was kind of like leading her somewhere and then it flashes back to aria aria is running after red coat trying to like catch her the other in the uh, red coat that aria is chasing is like running away like she doesn't want to be seen so then aria kind of uh traps the red coat into like this corner there's nowhere for her to go they're on like the top of this stair thing and Arya's like punching her and kicking her. I was like, yes, kick off the freaking mask. Like, just kick it off. Just like, let's see who it is. 
And I kind of wish that it, we would have saw who the other person in the red coat was because when Arya kicked off the mask, it was Cece. And we all already knew that Cece was part of it. So she kicks off the mask and she's like, Cece, just give it up. Like, just let it go. Just stop. And um, I don't know exactly what happened, but somehow Cece, I guess, fell off of the um, stairs that they were uh, like fighting on. And Arya goes to grab her hand. And since Cece has this red coat on, it's like ripping the sleeve. And then Cece like falls to the ground and is like apparently dead. So Arya's freaking out. All the girls come in and they see that Cece's dead. And they're like, you know, why don't you just call the cops? Let's just tell them everything that's happened. And um, they turn around and Cece's gone. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, this is insane. So, um, then, um, Spencer was like, screw this. Like, forget about this. I don't even care about her anymore. I need to show you guys something. So Spencer takes the girls to where the other red coat was leading her. And it is this, like, apartment room that has blown up, like, photography pictures of Allison on the walls. There's, like, whiteboards with, like, timelines of everything that's happened to the girls, each one of the girls, everything that's happened to their parents. There's, um, like, books and photo albums of Allison the summer she went missing. Um, and all this time, you're looking at this, and you're like, what? Like, because we already knew that A had another layer previously, but this one's just like so more, so much like detail, so organized, and it's like honestly like weird and creepy. So then um, they're looking through this photo album, and Arya's kind of looking around, and she's like, this is like weird. She's looking at the whiteboards, and she sees who A is tracking. Um, like I said, it has all the pictures of the girls, all the pictures of their parents, and she looks on a board, and A is tracking Allison, so it kind of makes you think that Allison's alive, which they already, all the girls already kind of thought that to begin with, um, so it kind of makes you think, like, okay, maybe we're going to find something out, so it shows that A has been tracking Allison from when there was a fire at the lodge, um, whenever she was, um, in Ravenswood, and then currently where she's at now, so, um, then Hannah's like looking around there's like computer like five different computers and it shows that A has been tracking the police station the town where they live their school everything like that is how A has been able to know where they are at all times and um, they're trying to crack the code trying to get into the computer systems and they can't so Hannah kind of like gets up a little bit frustrated and starts looking around and she finds this wardrobe and she opens up the wardrobe and it's freaking like men's coats and men's shoes. And she was like, I think A is a guy. And instantly I was like, oh my God, it's going to be Ren. If Ren is who is like doing all this, I'm going to be really, really upset. So um, then I don't know what happens. I think they, they just walk out kind of like... Um, I guess they wanted to go find Allison. So they're like running out of the apartment because they they came to the conclusion that A is a guy and they think that A is board shorts or the guy that Allison was seeing the summer she went missing. So they're thinking that he's trying to like find her um, because they don't really think she's dead anyway. So they they leave the apartment, they're running down the stairs and then they run into Miss, Mrs. Grimwall. And Mrs. Grimwall um, basically tells them like they shouldn't be going to look for Allison. It's not safe. Um, it, she doesn't think that they should do that because it's not safe there. It's dangerous. And the guy who Allison was afraid of is looking for her and he's hoping that the girls will lead him to her. Um, and then it kind of flashes back to how Mrs. Grimwall knows that um, someone's after Allison and it shows um, that the night that Allison was buried in that little gazebo thing that was under construction and a few episodes back and kind of throughout the whole series you see a hand like reach up out of the dirt and you see another hand like grab her out but you don't know whose hand it is and Mrs. Grimwall said that she kind of has like psychic abilities so she knew what was going to happen before it happened so she ran to Allison's house, drove over there, went in the backyard, took Allison out of the grave. So you find out that Mrs. Grandma did take Allison um, underneath the gazebo and then she drove her to a hospital. And um, whenever she got to the hospital, she told Allison to stay in the car. She was going to run in and get help. When she came out, 
Allison was gone. So she hasn't, she said she hasn't seen Allison since that night, but she can like feel her presence and there's no actual proof that Allison is dead now. So you kind of come to the conclusion and it leads you to believe that Allison is alive and she was never really dead. So they don't know whose funeral they went to. And then um, Mrs. Grimwall says, you guys should leave because if you stay here and you look for Allison, then it's not going to be safe. Um, the guy who she was afraid of is going to follow you guys and you're going to lead him to her and then he's really going to kill her basically is what they're saying. So they're kind of debating on if they should go and they're by this like costume shop because they want to crash the magician party thing that's going on because Allison's going to be there and they're going to get their costumes and then you see like this black figured coat and you know it's a guy and then you kind of see him like walk down the street because he was watching the girls and you see him walk into the apartment with like A's lair and then it kind of like spins you around on the person you see him in his black coat and it kind of leads up to his face and I was like they better show who it is because it was like one minute left of the finale i was like oh my god i better find out who's in the freaking coat and they spin the um camera around and it's ezra okay now i already have my predictions about ezra to, i think it was last summer but literally like i was in utter shock complete utter shock there's absolutely no words that describe how i felt in that moment my mouth was like completely dropped for a good 10 minutes it really freaked me out to see ezra like that and then you see him get like really mad and he slams um the wardrobe shut because it was closed when he left and when he came back it was open because the girls were looking through everything so he knows that someone found out um that he is that there is a guy involved and I like was so like like it can't be true there has to, I'm gonna find out reasons why it's not gonna be true but like it it makes sense but I already had my predictions about Ezra and him being a in that whole theory last summer and whenever they scanned up to his face I was just so like I was in complete and utter shock and I was trying to think of ways all last night like why he wouldn't be um a but I'm going to leave you guys um, a link to an article that I read this morning. Um, down below I'll have it linked so you guys can read. And it has so much evidence that Ezra is A. And it is just... It's insane. Um, and I think... Because um, I'm very upset that I'm not going to be able to watch Pretty Little Liars until October 22nd. Which is the Halloween episode they have every year. I've heard so many good things about the Halloween episode though. And normally the Halloween episode is kind of like flashbacks on previous Halloweens. But I think this one is going to be them at the party that they're um, that the episode ended in with last night. Uh, they're going to dress up, go to the party, and you're going to see what happens that night. Because it's going to be around Halloween time. So I'm really, really excited for that. And I just had to like let it like I had to tell someone about the episode last night and let me know you guys' thoughts and reactions on Ezra being A in the comments below and sorry this video isn't where I normally film I just really wanted to get it up for you guys but yeah that's it for this rant on Pretty Little Liars and I'm so like still in shock about the whole thing but I just wanted to get it up for you guys and leave me comments like I said down below and I'll talk to you later bye